Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. It's for our week four NFL. Uh, it's Friday the 27th, 28th, and before the 29th of September. Uh, got a bunch of player props. We get right into them. First game I'm messing with Denver at the Jets, New York. Uh, Rodgers is back to true form. He's looking good. Agile, he's playing great. Defense is playing great. Uh, so on the note, the Jets last year beat the Broncos, and that's with Zach Wilson as their quarterback, and uh, Russell Wilson was the Broncos quarterback. So the Broncos are rocking with Bo Nix. He's a rookie. Uh, you know, he's kind of struggling, if you ask me. I think he's got four interceptions. So you might look for that. Um, no touchdowns. Uh, no throwing touchdowns. He's ran a couple in. He kind of gets in, you know, gets a little nervous and he takes off. He's, you know, he's athletic. He'll, he'll get there, but it's just another rush quarterback put in too soon. That would be way better if he wasn't starting right now. But, uh, so I went with Javante Williams over 13 and a half. Uh, actually, I played 14 and a half. The guy's 13 and a half at 365. Played 14 and a half on DraftKings. Uh, receiving yards. Cleared this last game, he had 29. Game before that, 48. First game, he did not clear it. He's been catching pretty well. First game, 50% catch. Two targets, one reception. Second game, perfect. Third game, perfect. Uh, five receptions, five targets. Four receptions, four targets last game. Succeeded 14 and a half. Four was last five. Averaging about 27. One, two, three, four. He's got the fourth most targets on the team. Uh, just got a good defense, especially now that Rodgers is playing good, looking good, and being healthy. So, you know, offense is complimenting defense, vice versa for the Jets. But, uh, you know, Bo Nix is trying, and he's, he's doing all right. But, you know, he gets a little trouble. He takes off. He runs. He's got a rushing touchdown. Like I said, no passing touchdowns. But running back is a safety blanket, especially for any quarterback. Uh, first couple of plays, get him in rhythm. Uh, say the Jets blitz, whatever, a little check down. Definitely be a safety blanket. And 13 and a half is just too low. Uh, could be a little, a little competitive game. They did play good versus Tampa Bay last game. Uh, Pittsburgh got a good defense, always a low-scoring game. But, uh, yeah, and uh, always all line it back, get the number lower, and get the best odds, have multiple books. Let's... All right, so next up, I went with Josh Reynolds. He's a wide receiver. I've been doing real well on the Broncos. Uh, longest reception, over 15 and a half. FanDuel. I actually think I got it at 16 and a half and they brought it down. He's exceeded 15 and a half in uh, five of his last six games on the road, averaging 22.8 for the year. He's cleared this all three games. 25 yard versus Seattle, uh, 49 versus Pitt, 31 versus Tampa. He's getting a couple opportunities. First game a lot. Eight targets, five receptions. Second game, five and four. This last game, two receptions, two targets. If 
by bringing it back down to the last 10 games. He's went over this 9 out of 10. It's the reason why I went with longest yard, uh, longest reception, because his yards might be the safer bet, you know, uh, 24, 26 and a half. They actually brought it down. But he's been going over his yards, so you could possibly do that. I mean, not possibly. That's probably the safest bet. But like I said, he only had two targets, two receptions last game. Uh, expecting to be utilized. He's exceeded his uh, 26 and a half in six of his last seven games, averaging 50. So uh, could possibly be the best play. But as you saw, longest reception, he has cleared that nine out of the last ten games. It's going back to the middle of last year. Uh, his number was at, it was, it was higher yesterday, I believe. It was at like 32, yeah, 31 and a half. I placed all these bets last night. But, uh, yeah, use your discretion. I went longest yard. Longest reception. He's been clearing it anyway. His his average uh, average yard per reception is over this. It's just about seventeen. So let's get it, Josh Reynolds. All right. So last week I was gonna play this kick myself because I didn't. Uh, Aaron Rodgers rushing yards. They had that one and a half last week and I seen it and I was just about to fucking play it and the game started. But uh, I all lined it up. Got it at five and a half plus 165 on DraftKings. They got it at three and a half plus 110. So, I don't expect him to really run, but he, if he does, I feel like he's going to clear this. He looked good last game. He was moving, uh, bootlegging, doing stuff. So, if he's got to get that first down and it's open, it's not going to put himself in harm's way. But he could easily go over this, and I feel like by next week, the number's going to be at like 8 or 9. Uh, regular number, not even boosted to plus 165. So, these odds... I'll take the chance. Uh, he looked real good. He's had that year off with that injury, bad injury, you know, but uh, it, it, I think it really helped him reset uh, mentally, physically. He wants to win. He's always wanted to win, but now he's really got to prove himself. And being older, it's an older gentleman, you know, I'm 41 myself. You realize that uh, when you start taking care of our bodies and stuff and you start feeling better, like, you know, uh, I'm coming up on 16 months clean and sober, no drugs, no drinking. And, uh, I mean, I could be healthier. I smoke cigarettes and uh, it's the only thing I can do, right? But uh, I feel like I'm fucking 20 again, so I can imagine how he feels. And five and a half, he's going to crush that. Let's get it. All right, so uh, Tyler Conklin played him the first game, and then uh, no receptions or anything. And we ended up playing him last game. I think he oh, had yeah, one reception. I think uh, I might have lied better than we played him before. I don't really remember, but... Uh, I just started picking apart that D and uh, hit him a couple of times. He got a lot of yards. Uh, good third down back, you know, time and need. He's got a couple of players, actually. Lazard, Wilson, he's using everybody. But um, two and a half receptions. Denver versus the tight end during 22nd. You know, and this number's in green. It's always a good thing. Uh 
First game, two targets, one reception. Second, same thing. Third game, six targets, five receptions. He's exceeded two and a half, nine straight games at home, averaging four. He's fourth on the list for targets. Uh, I just think the two and a half, I mean, he had 93 yards last game. They got his number at 23 and a half. I guess you could go either way. But, uh, I mean, shit, if he gets two and a half, he's going to go over his receptions anyway. I mean, his yards. He's exceeded 23 and a half yards in nine straight games, averaging about 50. Average yard per reception, 11 and a half. Average long reception, 12. So, uh, yeah, let's get it, Tyler Conklin. Uh, there's a couple few other players you can look out for. Reese Hall, anytime touchdown. You might even be able to double that, hit him with two touchdowns. Uh, Allen, the other back. Catch him if the Jets get up. He, he's a good place to live bet if they if they get up. And uh, if you notice they're about to get up, you always hit that second back, and get him on his yards or and stuff like that. So when they're trying to run the clock out, but uh, it's as far as right now, these lines are pretty average and uh, just decided to stick with these. So let's get it. Uh, got a couple from the Saints game. New Orleans at Atlanta, 1 o'clock Sunday. Uh, Daryl Mooney, receiving, he's a wide receiver. Got him at his receiving yards, 39 and a half. Uh, FanDuel, 118. Line went up, went down. His last two games cleared it easily. He had 88 versus Philly. 66 versus Kansas City. Uh, eight receptions, eight targets last game. Seven and three in the first game, three and one. Second in targets on the team, Drake London being first. Like McLeod, too. Uh, Pitts. You know, you, you, you can pick anybody for that matter, but this is the best one I found for the yards and whatnot. Uh, New Orleans, <clears throat> 26 to receiving yards, 22nd to the wide receiver position. Head to head, going back to last year, he's cleared this at 82. Uh, both teams looking good. Should be a good game. And uh, I expect them to go over. Let's get it. Down money. Our uh, running back for the Saints uh, went off the other day. He's definitely a capable back. Uh, running, receiving, can do it all. I went with his receiving yards over 24 and a half. Minus 140, DraftKings. Played this all three times. 27 in the first game. Carolina. Uh, blew him out and started running the ball. Dallas, he had 65 yards. Philly, 40. All right. Three receptions. He's averaging three receptions, three targets a game. He's catching real well. First game, five targets, five catches. Second, three and two. Third game, three targets, three receptions. Averaging 13 yards per reception. Uh, he's had a couple of long ones. Catches it and he breaks off. He's third in uh, targets for the team. Uh, he's cleared his 100% this year, as well as head-to-head -head last year. He had 50. I expect it to be a closer game. Uh, you know, a good game back and forth, so he's going to be utilized in every way.
and he's just going to be running the ball. With uh, Atlanta, eighth overall in receiving yards. They got some good DBs and safeties. They're running back. They are ranked fifth. But uh, I think that's why it's numbers. It's not that it's low, but it's lower. Um, I outlined it down like I always do. If you can all, if I could outline it, I will. Um, started open at thirty one and a half. Right now it's at twenty seven and a half, and I outlined it to twenty four and a half. So let's get it. Now look, come on. Zach Moss. Zach Moss, Zach Moss, running back. This is Cincinnati at Carolina. Uh, since they benched, what's his name on Carolina? Carolina, uh, I think they got Lutz. He's been playing a little better. Not sure if they won their last game or they just played better, had a couple scores or whatnot. But uh, this is the running back from Cincinnati. Receiving yards over 12 and a half. Uh, DraftKings minus 120. For the year, he's played this all three games. 17 versus New England, 13 versus KC, and then uh, 39 versus Washington. Last five games, going back to last year, 80% hit rate. Uh, Last game, six targets, five receptions, one and one, four and two the first game. Uh, average yards per reception, eight and a half. Long reception, 12 or 13. It's been averaging. Uh, it's exceeded 12 and a half receiving yards, five of his last six games, averaging about 20. Uh, one, two, three, four. He's fourth on uh, the target list. So I do get him the ball occasionally. Uh, little check downs, you already know the deal. Uh, leads into my next play. All right, my next play is for you. Hit that like button. Uh, new viewers. If you want, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I do this every day. Uh, also, if you could leave a comment. I notice a lot of people have been commenting. I do appreciate that. Thank you. And the interaction, I, I like it. I don't get paid for these videos. I've been doing it a couple months. I'm not at that level yet. But uh, it takes a lot of time and effort. So the people who are liking and commenting, I do appreciate you. So thank you. Uh, look out for my live bets. Put the notifications on because the lines and the odds will change. I like to. I like doing that. Picking apart the books while the game is going. I forgot how how much easier it is, and as well as the the fun of it, trying to, to read the read how the game's going and, and beat the books, committing sportsbook robbery. Uh, all right, let's move on. It's enough of that. All right, uh, Mike Jazeski. He's the tight end on the Bengals. I noticed this the other day, like two weeks ago. Uh, Burrow's utilizing him like crazy. Uh, I think Higgins was out at the time, too. But uh, receiving yards over 24 and a half. Minus 120 DraftKings. Uh, this line opened at 27 and a half. It's at 25 now. It's like I always say, I all lined it back. If, uh, if, I don't spend that much money per unit size, but if I was, I would all line it back even further. You know, if I shit, my goal is to get to that point, and then I'll start calling myself a professional sports better and all that stuff. But uh, you can bet a couple hundred dollars a play. I often damn sure get it at 19 and a half minus 225. You know, you bet $500, you make 250 or 225, whatever it is, 275. Uh, just makes sense, you know. The more you bet, the easier it is to win, to be honest with you, because you can get those better odds. Uh, yeah, it's highly juiced and whatnot, but it's more likely to hit. 
if you look at my in the beginning of my page uh in the info there's there's a link you can click it's uh betting odds versus percentages each percentage each odds has an actual percentage of hitting so like minus 120 is a 54.55 percent chance to hit now when you get up to you know minus 150 that's a 60 percent chance uh 250 that's a 71 percent chance to hit so you know it's, it's definitely uh the methods to the madness but always all line it back uh yeah so i noticed the first game or maybe it was the second game that he was starting to utilize him he hit him a bunch of times so uh second game he's went over this we played him last game he went over it versus washington uh yeah, it was the first game, actually, I noticed. He had a lot of four four targets, three receptions. Second game, nine targets, seven receptions. This last game, five and four. It does say he's failed to exceed 25 in 11 or 14 games. That's obviously last year. So going to this year, he's hit this two out of three. Uh, he's went over his receptions this year which they're not even offering his receptions. That's how you know it's a good play when they do stuff like that. Um, yeah, hopefully it's not a blowout. Uh, he can go over this in one catch anyway. Overall, the 13th Carolina and their 24th to allow him receiving yards to the tight end. So, you know, they're going to focus on uh, Higgins and I uh, can't think of his name, the other dude. So, uh, opens up, you know, the middle of the field and these first down plays or third down conversions and stuff. He's going to get his couple of receptions. Let's get it. Alec Pierce, uh, receiving yards over 24 and a half. This line's starting to climb a little bit. Uh, played it on DraftKings. Off Fanduel, 130, 32. Get it down to 110, 365. He's cleared this all three times. Uh, first game he killed it. Ridiculous, right? 125 yards. They got the line at 24. I think the line was at like 18 then, too. Line did climb since last week. We played it last week too, but he's been going over it. A little uh, regression in his yards, but he's still going way over this. Uh, decent amount of targets. I mean, last game he only had two, one reception, and he cleared it. Seven, seven targets, five receptions, three and three. He's exceeded 24 and a half, five of his last six, averaging 50. He's second on, uh, on the team in targets. Uh, Pittsburgh got a good D, but uh, I expect him to go over it. Uh, I was going to play something with, like, on um, Pittsburgh. I like playing uh, the tight end, Ferguson, or whatever his name is, but they got it at, like, four and a half, and it's about what he's going to get for. I mean, if, going back to, like, last year, he just always gets four. But uh, there's a million plays we could have played. These are the ones I settled on. I think Warren is going to be out, the other running back for Pitt. So uh, Harris's yards, if you could get it now and get it low enough before they roll him out, it would be, be a good play. Uh, there's a million other plays you could play. But, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, look out for the other videos. <clears throat> WNBA will be coming out. Uh, I'll have a video for Sunday Night Football. The Bills game and then a video for Monday. Those will be more breakdown videos, breakdown in the game. It's just way too long to do that with uh, big slates like this. But uh, yeah, Ace Money the Name getting paid for the game. Let's go.